it's currently 5.50 in the morning. I'm on three and a half hours of sleep. We're getting out on musky hunt. Oh yeah, so, oh, on this trip, see, I'm wearing my lucky shirt, so I'm feeling extremely positive. I say that every trip, but this one I feel extra good, especially because the one and only water warrior back here, sneaking around my boat, is joining me today <laughs> on musky hunt number nine. So we're going to be heading down to the Shenandoah. We got a two and a half hour drive. What do you think? I'm looking forward to it, man. It's going to be a good time. Let's do it. Talk fishing for two hours, get down there and smack them. Whack them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the next level. <laughs> David and I just got here to the Shenandoah. The water looks even lower than the last two times I've been here, so the ramp just gets sketchier every time. It's pretty fun. Looking like a lot of fun. Yeah, it's gonna be fine though. We'll get it in the water, we'll hand launch it if we have to. But two and a half hour drive in, two different gas station stops. Yeah. I'm ready to fish. Me too, man. Let's do it. I have a feeling he's gonna catch a muskie while fishing for smallmouth. Me. Yeah. Welcome to the next level. Well, we got the boat in the water. That's always the trickiest part of this trip. Feeling really lucky today. Again, rocking the yeah. lucky shirt. I think it's gonna happen. Let's do it. Let's get out here and catch this muskie. All right, I'm starting the day off throwing the X wrap. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, there is, oh my god, musky right there, look at it, right in front, see it? Right look, 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 right, Holy right here. Holy shit. Holy shit. Shit, 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 shit. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. It was just chilling. I brought my bait right in front of its face. You saw that thing, right? Yeah, it's it a monster. That's even bigger. Or oh, it's the same one. See it? Right? Hey, I'm going to cast Oh my god, it's crazy action already. I'm gonna bring it right in front of the boat. Come on. There's a muskie right under me. Oh, oh, I saw him. Black. Look, there he goes. There he goes. He's right here. He's right in front of me. You just ran it right by him. Guys, look at that muskie right there. Look at it go. Look at it. He does not care. He's chilling in this area though. I'm shaking right now. Dude, my, <laughs> my legs are like jello. Holy sh So exciting. It's the first three minutes of being out here we see one. Quite a few people have been telling me to downsize my baits and try bass lures. That muskie I just saw wanted nothing to do with either of the baits I was throwing, so I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna throw on a 4.8 inch Kitek on a 3 8 ounce jig head. That's pretty finesse if you ask me. Oh, there he is. I'm looking right at him. He wants, he's right there. He's sitting right there. Dude, I want to throw like a jig at him or something, just to put it in his face. We're looking right at the same guys. He's facing right up into the current. He's moving a little bit. He's going towards my bait a little bit. Oh. Oh, 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 he hit it! Oh, 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 oh. oh my, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. He tapped the bait though. Oh my god. He just like hit it and ran. I'm just gonna keep putting this thing in his face. Okay, so I just had my first bite ever. Uh, exhilarating. I'm still shaking a little bit. I mean, it was insane. I saw the fish sitting into the current. I was pulling the TNA Angry Dragon right into its face and I just let it sit on the bottom and I popped it up and the fish swam into it and like smashed it, but he didn't eat it. He just like ran through it and then he took off. But we're gonna run up to the truck really quick. We're gonna get David some polarized glasses even though he looks fresh to death in those. <laughs> and uh, grab the gooseneck for the other GoPro. We know where that muskie's at. I don't really plan on giving up on that fish anytime soon. 
unless we go like hours without seeing it, but we've seen it four times in the last 45 minutes. No doubt, absolutely. It's just sticking there. I mean, it's waiting for something. Hopefully I can just piss it off enough to bite. I think today might be the day, guys. So we've been playing, as David said, cat and mouse with this muskie all morning. I've been out for about an hour, I've seen it four times, struck my bait once, and it's just sitting up on this flat here to the left. I think I'm looking, oh my God, I'm looking at a big one right now. It's right in front of him. I put this thing right in his face. That's a tiger muskie too, you see his stripes? We are both sight fishing for this muskie right now. It's right in our face. God, what a ball. It's right next to him. Dude, what a ball. It's on him. There's a tiger. That's Holy a tiger muskie right in front of us, guys. That's tiger, baby. I'm pulling this thing right down in front of him. Dude, that's tiger. It's, it's on him. It's on him. Dude, what is that? Look at him go. Look at him go. He doesn't want anything to do with us. Oh my God. This got me shaking. I put this bait on that fish's nose. I mean, I dropped it on top of his nose. All he had to do was open his mouth and it was game time. He didn't want anything to do with it. Like absolutely nothing. Whew, man, this is insane. This is the most action I've experienced oh since I started this hunt, guys. This is, oh man. Dude, it's sitting right freaking there. It's, look, you see where my lure is right now? Yeah. I'm gonna drop it on his head. Right there. He is literally right there. I just hit him. Please catch that fish. Look at that. That's go mode right I'm there. going for it. I'm That's in the zone mode. right now. I need that fish. Go mode, baby. Dude, sooner or later, he's gonna get pissed off. Well, it seems like he did just there. He just turned on it real fast, but he didn't eat it again. He's turning, he's turning, he's turning, he's turning. He's right under my bait. He doesn't want anything to do with it. I'm freaking out right now. It's like I can taste it. I can literally jump in after him. Up. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. See him. Be a little louder, Matt. Be a little louder. Look at it. Look at that thing. I'm going small. I haven't tried anything small for this fish. I'm gonna put this Kai Tech on, put it right in his face. Oh! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! No eat it! Eat it! Eat it! No oh. way. It's a small one. It's a small one, but he had it. Oh my god. Dude, dude, he was eating it. Oh my God. And I slowed down like a freaking goon. Ah! Oh, hop it. He got it, he got it. Oh, it broke. Oh. It's a baby one, but dude, I do not care. I saw, oh, I saw it, he went for it. Oh my God. Just cast straight ahead. Yep, perfect. That's like right on him. David and I are tag teaming this little baby muskie. It's a small one, but still awesome. Dude, that was a much more aggressive follow and a strike. Dude, it's crazy that he like bit mine and then he still went back and bit yours. I up. I slowed down. I shouldn't have slowed down. I should have kept going. Like he wasn't really interested in it. He was just following it out of habit. And then he's, when he saw the boat, he ate at it. That was it. That fish I got a follow on was on this little Kai Tech. I downsized. A lot of you guys have been saying to downsize and try smaller baits, like bass baits and stuff, but I still have it on this 125 pound leader. I don't want to break the fish off. There you go. We're gonna go across into the deep water and drift back from there and just fish this entire flat from further out. Actually, that's the wrong. This, this line, 300 is what it it sounds like the, it's a bandit for sure. Oh, I gotta follow. 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 